Hello everyone, so in this video I will show you how you can uh, record your Mario Kart with time trial in order to upload them uh, in high quality to YouTube for example. So the requirements are the following. So first of all you need a computer with Windows. Uh, you also need a tool to extract folder. Uh, for example I'm gonna use uh, WinRAR in this video but you can use whatever you want. And the last thing you need, and it's really important, is a copy of the American version of the game. Uh, it has to be the American version and not a North version. The recommended way to, to get uh, this file is to dump uh, your own game yourself. Uh, I will put a tutorial in the description for how to do that. But if for some reason you, you can't dump uh, your game yourself, um, you can still try to find at Google another way to, to get this file. Also, I highly recommend to use CTGP because with CTGP uh, you can way more easily uh, get access to the ghost that you made on console uh, because you will see uh, later in the video you will actually need to uh, find uh, the ghost that you made and if you play on CTGP you will have access to a chat soft link for this ghost and it will be way easier. So the first step is simply to download the AutoTT recorder, so just uh, click this file and download it uh, with your favorite um, internet browser. So when the download is finished, you want to find that file in your download folder and extract it. Once it's done, you should get uh, a new folder called AutoTT recorder version 1.2 and inside it you should have uh, those folder and those files. So in the future, I will call uh, this folder called AutoTT Recorder version 1.2 the main folder. The next step is to put your copy of the game, uh, your ISO file, into this folder. So when you're done, you should have this file inside your main folder. Uh, the name doesn't really matter. Uh, if, you're, if you're not sure what you're doing, you can just give it the same name, uh, nkw.iso. By the way, if you don't know how to see uh, the file extension, it's uh, in display and there there's uh, something you can click to uh, show or not the name extension. So just click it so you can see if it's mkw.iso. Okay, so the, the last step is to modify the config file. So how to do it is just you take one of the example given in uh, the, the main folder, I will start with a personal ghost config example and you just want to open this file with notepad. So what you can do is just right click, press open with and it should uh, suggest you a lot of application to open this file and if you press more application you should find notepad somewhere. So you just click notepad uh, be sure to always use this application for this kind of file and just press OK. And then it's going to open uh, this file with Notepad. So this file contains a lot of parameters that you can modify to edit the comportment of your video. Uh, everything is actually explained in English, so you probably don't even need my help anymore, but I'm still going to go through uh, to explain all of this. So the first parameter, output video file name, is just the file name of your video at the end. So you can just give it whatever name you want. Uh, just be sure to leave the .mp4 at the end because it's gonna give a better result. But you can just call it like um, my uh, time trial. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, the next parameter is ISO file name. Uh, this one is actually important. Uh, so previously. I just named uh, my, uh, my ISO uh, mkw.iso, so I'm gonna give it the exact same name. It's really important to give the exact same name. Those parameters here, you don't modify those because it's a keep this as is, so you don't modify those. Then you want to specify uh, the ghost you want to uh, actually record for your video. I highly recommend using uh, CTGP so you can have access to chat soft link uh, for your time trials. Uh, it's going to make this step way easier because you just need to specify here the link of your uh, chat soft uh, time trial. Uh, if you don't have chat soft, then you don't have the chat soft ghost page. 
what you will have to do is to find your ghost file instead of uh, filling uh, this one uh, you will actually put uh, I don't know what it's called so I just called that an hashtag so you have to put like an hashtag before uh, this parameter and instead completes uh, the other uh, parameter which is main ghost file name and here you will have to put the name of your uh, ghost um, so you will have to put your uh, ghost file inside your main folder and add the exact same name as your ghost file here so uh, it will probably name something like uh, my ghost.rkg the next parameter you can fill is uh, the ghost comparison once again here you have two possibilities you either have to put the chatsoft uh, link for the ghost you want to compare with or you have to fill the, um, the name of the ghost file uh, you want to compare with so I once again I highly recommend using chatsoft and ctgp so it's way easier you don't have to download the ghost just add the link of your your ghost and if you don't want to compare to a ghost as it said you can just here write null and it won't compare with any ghost and so if you don't have ctp once again you put a hashtag here you will remove the uh, hashtag here and you put the name of your ghost you want to you want to compare with uh, so you are, uh, once again have to put it in the main folder it's the same and it will be my uh, compare recent ghost dot rkg now for the other parameters so this one you just uh, leave it as it is it's very good um, here you can modify the aspect of the speedometer so you have some example here uh, I just leave it as fancy but you can put either regular or standard if you prefer uh, there are some examples you can you can see if you want. Uh, the speedometer metric, if you don't know what it is honestly, just leave it uh, as it is, uh, as engine. I personally prefer uh, XYZ uh, for the speedometer engine, but if you don't know what it is, just leave engine, it's the same as the CTGP speedometer. Uh, for the speedometer decimal places, uh, depending on the uh, speedometer aspect you choose, uh, you can't have uh, as much decimal places as you want. So since I choose fancy here and fancy just allow for one or zero decimal places, I will put one because it's the maximum value I can put. Next parameter is track name, so you just fill it with the track name. So if you want to record something on Koopa Cape, you just write Koopa Cape. And fun fact, you can actually write anything you want. So if I want to record something on Koopa Cape, but I want Koopa Cape to be named um, something else, you can. You can. Next, you have the uh, input display. Uh, currently, the Nunchuck and Wewell input display is not supported. Just leave it as GCN if you want a GCN or classic uh, input display. And if you want uh, no input display at all, you just have to write none. So it's just none or GCN as you want. The file name of the music to use. So if you want just the regular game music, you, you just leave it as it is, uh, BGM. But if you want uh, custom music, what you will have to do is to download this music, uh, put this uh, music uh, file into your main folder, once again, and you have to, here, add the exact same name as your music file. So uh, if your music is called uh, mymusic.mp3, uh, you just write mymusic.mp3. The next parameter is HQ uh, texture. So this one, uh, you wanna leave it as true, honestly, just always leave it true. Uh, it will look bad in a 480 pixel, but honestly, if you're recording in 40 pixel, it's already gonna look bad. So just leave it as true. Uh, the top 10 location, I honestly never mess up with that parameter. I don't even know what it does. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, MK channel ghost description is just some text you can write. Um, 
it will just modify the text you can see here. So uh, you can just put, for example, a uh, ship charger BKT if you're recording a ship charger BKT, for example. Um, those settings you don't modify those um, they are already good and this one keep window uh, i suggest to leaving this as true because uh, what it will do it just uh, during the recording process you will be able to see uh, the dolphin windows so you just know uh, if it's finished soon or not it's it's useful just leave it as true the last parameters you will have to uh, modify will be those in the uh, audio balancing uh, section. So this section. So those parameters are uh, those four. Uh, you basically will never have to modify them. So those four just leave it as they are. And here you have the dolphin resolution. Will it's basically the resolution of your video. Uh, the opposite uh, width uh, basically have to correspond with your dolphin resolution. So it's specified uh, down here, uh, depending on your resolution, what uh, or, uh, output width you, you have to set. Uh, this is a parameter that will modify how fast the recording process uh, will be. Basically, uh, when I put it to ultra fast, where you're not sure if the result is going to be good, and at the end, you will put that to slow. Uh, the game volume and the music volume is uh, just some parameter you can modify to change the volume of your video. Uh, for example, you can make the, the game volume a little bit lower if you want your music uh, to be uh, more audible. For example, you can uh, put this right. So basically what you want to do is uh, if you're not using the default music for the game, if you're using a custom music, so what you can do is just uh, do a try and retry uh, method. Usually you just want to leave the music volume as one and you just modify the game volume. You just uh, leave those parameters as it is, you save and you record. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll explain how to do it a little bit after. And once the recording is done, you will have a video in low quality and you can just look at this video and if the, the game volume um, is, for example, too loud, you can make this parameter even lower or if the game volume was too quiet, uh, you can make this parameter uh, bigger. And once uh, you're satisfied with your um, audio balancing, what you will have to do is actually make uh, the real recording for your video. So what uh, you have to do is to set the dolphin resolution as uh, what you want. Uh, if you want a good quality for uh, your YouTube recording, like the best quality possible, I highly uh, recommend you to put uh, the setting as 1440. Um, so if you put uh, this dolphin resolution, you have to put the output width uh, corresponding. It's written here. Um, and this parameter, you have to put it as slow. Uh, when you're doing the final recording, you always want this parameter to be set as slow because it will have a uh, better quality in the end, uh, especially for YouTube. When you're done with this parameter, you just have to save uh, your, your file. And once you're done, you can just close it. So when you're finished modifying uh, this file, the personal ghost config example, what you will have to do is rename that file. So right click and rename, and you will have to rename it exactly config.yml. Uh, uh, so when this file is called config.yml, uh, you're actually done, everything is done. And what you have to do, the last step, is just double click this file called recordghost.bats. And what it would do is just open uh, like a black windows and launch a dolphin with a recording process. It's probably gonna take, uh, if you're in low quality, it's just gonna take a few minutes, it's not really long. But if you're recording, it's very high quality, it can take like up to an hour, depending on how fast your computer is. And when uh, this will be done, you will just have in this main folder a new file that will appear. Uh, with the name file you actually specified in the in the configuration file and that's it 
So at this point you might wonder why there are so many example files uh, given in the in the main uh, distribution uh, like uh, the shadsoft worldwide tops and shadsoft worldwide top example or the manual tops and manual top example um, so basically those two config files are mostly the same as the personal ghost config file instead of using the personal ghost config file what you could have done is actually choose one of those two uh, the Shadsoft Worldwide Tops is made when you want to uh, add to your video at the beginning a uh, top 10 screen and this top 10 is already uh, fully available on Shadsoft so it's mostly the case for like the, uh, the most new category with a lot of recent activities or custom tracks in general and the manual tops is the exact same, but it's when the tops is not fully available on Chatsoft and you have to uh, actually look for the ghost. Uh, for example, if some ghosts were set outside of CTGP or if just some ghosts uh, were set before uh, CTGP was even created, um, you will have to make the top manually. Um, so those files are mainly um, really similar to personal ghost config they are just a couple parameters that are not the same but if you understood how to fill the personal ghost config example you will probably figure it out yourself it's not really different honestly